tour, uh, the 2021 tour. This is going to be a bit different, obviously. Uh, my name is Mr. Barham, the Grade 7 8 Guidance Counselor here at Stanley Knowles. Uh, we really want to make sure we can help you with your transition, uh, get you through, uh, answer as many questions as possible. Obviously, that part may look a little differently, but we're going to record this little video that's going to include our slideshow. And also, I'm going to give you an actual visual tour throughout the school. Uh, so we're home in the Sonics. I hope you enjoy. So obviously, this slide here shows our mission statement. It's the same mission statement pretty much as Garden Groves and Prairie Rose and Tunnel Park and Meadows West and so on. All the schools in the area were full of great uh, students. We have great teachers in all these schools, a great community. We just want to make sure we're taking care of you. We want to give you an awesome opportunity to learn um, and give you a lot of opportunities to try really cool things. So really our anchors are that we're respectful, responsible, we're learners and we're safe and we expect that from our teachers and from our students. So a typical day. Well, what is a typical day anymore? I have no idea. But the bell goes out, uh, rings outside at 8.50 this year uh, with the new restrictions. Students have been lining up outside at specific doors. I personally hope that still happens, but I can't say for sure. Uh, but no matter what, we'll let you know if it's lining up near your classroom and your teacher comes to grab you or if it's entering a specific door, uh, kind of like a mass start, uh, we'll let you know for sure. Our classes start at 9, you have three periods in the morning, you have three in the afternoon, and our lunch break is 11.45 to 12.45, so that is a bit earlier than some of the schools have now. And then we have our exit at 3.30. So that's pretty much our day. We have not had a lot of in-building transitions this year. Uh, we'll see how that changes as well. So like I say in the last slide there, uh, typical days almost don't exist anymore, it seems. And I, and I think a lot of that's going to continue. Um, if there is remote learning that continues or if that is a thing for students who become ill or potentially injured or vacation, I'm not sure. Um, we're kind of all in this together of learning how to reinvent the wheel here. But we have used the following uh, platforms, and I'm sure you're familiar with a lot of them. So Google Classroom has been a big one. One of the things I've really liked, and hopefully when you're here, you'll also connect with it, is the guidance counseling uh, Google Classroom, where I just post a whole bunch of just interesting facts or resources for students to access. There's definitely no assignments on there. A lot of teachers use a program called Jupiter Ed. Uh, that's a grading program. There's also a way that you can submit assignments online through there. We have Microsoft Teams. You can see my Microsoft Teams in the bottom right hand corner. And obviously Google Meets is huge uh, for parent conferences, for live streaming classrooms and so on. So you see that's actually me down there giving you the peace sign. Um, and no one is in my meeting with me, if, if, as you can see. So it was a pretty lonely meeting uh, as I took this photo just for you for this purpose. So lots of opportunities to connect and I would assume a lot of that's going to continue. Okay, this is one of my favorite slides actually. It shows how many people are here for you. So in junior high, we have a ton of teachers. We have the homeroom teachers. You'll be in a team of two if you're in the English stream and if you're in the French immersion stream you'll be in a team of four or five teachers that are all there working for you. Uh, so you can see we have three principals, we have a whole bunch of homeroom teachers and then a whole bunch of what's called specialist teachers or, or support teachers. Um, you can see I'm under the student services branch, I work really closely with Miss Q, uh, but there are so many people here working to make your experience at Stanley Knowles a fantastic one. All those people are here for you. We are a PBIS school. It just means we have a, essentially um, behavior expectations that we're willing to teach you. We really believe that if we want a nice orderly school where people know what's expected of them, we need to show them that. So we teach uh, students everything that's expected of them and then uh, they're able to do it. You see the kids walking in this perfectly nice straight line. We try for that as much as possible. Um, it actually has worked out really well. Students really appreciate having um, 
a nice orderly school where they know what's expected of them and they rise to the occasion. I'm sure you will as well. We do have a lunch program here. It's been uh, open to junior highs for about the last five years. It is really important that you register for it. It is not open to everyone. You do have to register for it and you do have to pay. Um, there is likely some information in your registration package about it. If not, I will get that information out to you or your teachers. The If there is no lunch program for you, if you're gonna go home every day, that's fine. Um, if you're just gonna hang around the hallways, that's not fine. So we would definitely need to have a conversation. If you have any questions about that that's not in the registration package, by all means, reach out to me. Uh, the lunch program is definitely something I would recommend, especially when it gets cold in the winter. Lockers, home rooms. You're all gonna have home rooms. Like I said, if you're in English program, you're gonna have two main teachers you see. One of those will be your homeroom teacher. So that teacher will either pick you up outside or that's the classroom you're gonna to go to right away when the bell rings. They're gonna do the attendance um, and then you'll be there for announcements. You should get a locker this year. I hope at some point uh, we do not share lockers. Everyone gets their own locker. This year, unfortunately, the students were not allowed to have a locker, so um, your lockers are missing stuff. They want uh, kids to fill them with stuff. We will teach you how to use the lock. We will supply you with the lock, so there's no need to worry about that. If uh, you're concerned about how to use a lock, we can maybe even loan you one for the summer, but really, you'll get it. It's, it's not that hard. Um, yeah, that's about it. We're going to talk later about locker etiquette and not sharing your locker combination with anyone. Uh, we'll do that in September. So Stanley Knowles is actually known as a really academic school. These are not pictures from our school. Uh, I kind of wanted to add pictures that showed the school lively and vibrant with, with people uh, working in groups, which to be honest, hasn't happened a ton this year, obviously with the situation. Uh, so I will be changing these photos even maybe when I come to your school to present. Uh, but we are very academic. We really have high achieving students here, a great math program, excellent social studies teachers, language arts is fantastic. And we have some amazing science labs that you can access as well. And I really want to make sure we featured the academic side because we're, we really do have a great practical arts and art and band and extracurricular programs. Uh, it's important that we also tour those academic areas and you will see those academic areas later in the visual tour coming up. Practical arts is something that you will experience both years here in grade seven and grade eight. You'll try all four each year. So you will do the wood shop or wood and woodworking and Mrs. Alt has done some amazing things to adapt um, some new elements into it that aren't always all working with wood. Uh, we have the clothing textiles area, which you see as sewing. And that again, Miss Catalo has done an amazing job of incorporating uh, very different elements into it that is not just your traditional sewing program. Foods and nutrition, need I say more? It's awesome. You're cooking and you're eating and it's the best. And then the graphic shop, again, Mr. Van Keisel's done some amazing things to incorporate new elements like 3D printers, laser engravers, vinyl cutters, t-shirt presses, uh, tons of really cool computers, you name it, it's in there. It's a really, really, really amazing program. Kids love our practical arts. So the art program is one that you're gonna choose. It is gonna show up on your registration. You're gonna actually try them both though next year. So you're gonna start the year trying either band or art. And then after the first term, you will select art or band. So even if we ask you to pick, uh, you're not held to that if you feel as though you made a mistake or you really loved one or the other when you're trying them both out. The art program is fantastic. We have a dedicated art room and I hope you enjoy it when you try it out. So again, an example of our music program, similar to art, you're gonna try them both, as I just said, and uh, you'll be able to pick. We do have a choir normally and a great band. And you can also see there's other ways for performances to get involved that we normally have a tech crew. You can see them down in the bottom middle there. 
uh, working one of our concerts with the soundboards and the lights. That's a great way too if you like music or you like the entertainment side of things but don't necessarily want to be up on stage, there's opportunities to be off stage and be super helpful as well. So our Stanley Knowles clubs, really if, if there's a huge um, interest in something, we'll do our best to kind of accommodate that. Uh, we have had the art club, the running club, the leadership program, lots of intramurals. Uh, the graphics program has done extra programs, including the Cyber Patriot, where you're kind of like a hacker or you're defending hackers. I don't know. I don't get it, but it seems really cool. Uh, there's lots more clubs on there. I've actually just trimmed down this list because be based on who the teachers are, who the kids are here and their interests, we kind of adjust as required. Uh, another thing we're obviously really well known for and pride ourselves on is our athletics and our sports teams. Again, this intramural sports list I've cut down just to make sure that these are the things that we're almost every year offering. And then there's always more as well. So we've got floor hockey, dodgeball. The dodgeball seems to be the big, big, big one. Uh, the teachers have been undefeated for the last 10 years, I believe. And the Babington uh, intramurals and those run during lunch hour. And we also have a lot of our sports teams that compete at the division level and the provincial level. And that is cross country running, which starts right away in September. The volleyball teams, the basketball teams, the indoor track and the outdoor track, the marathon group that runs in the Manitoba Marathon, and then the soccer program. We run that soccer program. We invite every student in junior high to participate in our co-ed soccer team. And we've had close to 300 students participate in some of our busier years. And we play all of our games at the school against our own uh, classmates and stuff. It's really awesome. That one we for sure want you involved if you like or don't like soccer. Just want you involved. Extracurriculars, obviously, this is the fun things we like to do. We've got Festival de Voyager. We've got our ES Kiss Idol, which is our talent show where we see what you're amazing at. Uh, we do a Jeopardy tournament, Spirit Weeks, leadership, all kinds of great ways to get involved. And then that moves us to like other great, awesome things we do, like the ski trip. We do a ski trip every February. We go to Assisipi, take the bus, stay overnight, get two days of snowboarding or skiing in. That was super fun. And then other awesome things we do is a lot of outdoor education or experiential learning opportunities. Uh, we have, you know, we've been taking kids out hiking, playing in the snow, sage picking. Uh, you see some pictures there, some high ropes course stuff we've done before. Uh, we really are trying to get students outside as much as possible. And then the experiential learning part, again, is other opportunities to learn. Uh, experiential means like working with your hands and uh, really immersing in the experience. So you can see we did a paddle program one year. Uh, we've done Everybody Has the Right, which isn't running anymore, but taking opportunities to get outside, do fun things um, is something we're really, really uh, pride ourselves on and work really hard to do. So this slide is probably my favorite slide. It's the one about the bike shop and the bike trip. We've been able over the last couple years to be able to build a little bike shop in our school where we repair bikes and fix bikes. We also have partnered with The Wrench, which is a local bike shop, and they help us out a lot. And we also have our bike trip that we try to run every year. It involves Miss Q, myself, Mr. Van Keisel, and we actually bike from the school all the way to Birds Hill Provincial Park. We camp overnight, cook our own food, uh, bike the trails out there, and then we ride back the next day. Super fun trip. It's probably my favorite one right now. And every year we kind of go a bit of a bit bigger and a bit better. So if you like riding bikes or you want you're interested in learning how to ride a bike, uh, please come talk to me because I'd love to get you on a bike. And that is pretty much it for the presentation side of the tour. You're going to see up there student services slide, which kind of talks a bit about what we do in student services. That's guidance and resource. And we're going to transition into the physical tour of the building where you get to meet some of the teachers and see the places that you would be going. Maybe I'll show you a locker or two. You never know. Anyway, thanks so much. That's kind of end of phase one. Hang on for a little bit and we'll get you touring the building. And I hope you enjoyed the first part of your transition tour.
Hey everybody, I am Mr. Bar. I'm the one that had the voice on the first part of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. So listen, I'm gonna take you inside. We're gonna check out some things, we're gonna meet some great people, and maybe give you a bit of a, a look inside our beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's go, come on. Sorry, I just had to mask up. So anyway, welcome. You're in the center. I'm gonna take you around. This beautiful space here is where we do all of our main interactions. We have our beautiful admin right over here. They always greet us here in the centrum. It's amazing to have them here. So anyway, let's go around a bit. I'm gonna show you the, the building. Let's go. Yeah, so anyway, here's the centrum. I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna head down a couple of the hallways here. We're gonna check it out. First hallway we're gonna be in is the one that's gonna take us down to the band room, which is right over here. We're gonna go there later though. So really I wanna flip, hang on, we're gonna flip. And you're gonna see that we're walking up to the clothing and, clothing and textiles room. And hey, let's go see what's going on inside. Oh, didn't see you there. Welcome to sewing. This is where you learn how to design your own things. The grade seven project is a gym bag. You can learn to design your own clothing, just like Kanye. And in foods, you're gonna be learning all about healthy eating, how to make a good meal, and how to give all your leftovers to Mr. Barr. Hey, so for interest sake, I had just skipped ahead a bit. I left that hallway. I went back to the centrum, as you can see. And I'm gonna go down to the other practical arts rooms down the hall to my right. Okay, so we're just gonna check that out. I'm gonna skip ahead again. You don't need to be there for that much. Okay, yeah, we're totally heading down the hall now. And uh, oh, on the way, look at this. We've got the big gym and the small gym. Small gym is for the elementary kiddos. And this is the Sonic Dome. Let's go see what's going on. How's it going guys? Welcome to the junior gym. I'm Mr. Bard, I'm gonna be one of your grade seven phys ed teachers next year. And as you can see, we're in the middle of our badminton unit. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun in the gym, in class, and we're also responsible for the inter-school program. So if you're interested in cross country, volleyball, basketball, badminton track, all that stuff, it happens here. And when you get here, you'll see by all of our banners, we have one of the best programs in the province. So we're just going to uh, continue with our badminton class right now. I need a bird, can somebody shoot me a bird? Oh, you made one bird! Ah, poor Mr. Bard. Oh, he's always getting hit by those birdies. Anyway, we're gonna keep cruising down the hall now. And uh, hey, look at this, we've got Mr. Van's room. This is the graphics lab, let's see what's going on. Welcome to the graphics shop. Come with me and I'll show you guys around. Over here we've got all of our state-of-the-art computers. My name is Mr. Van, by the way. This is our screen printing area for doing t-shirt printing. Over here we've got our vinyl cutters and 3D printers. Um, so we've got our vinyl cutter here, two 3D printers. We also have a laser engraver. And uh, we'll be doing tons of projects, they change all the time. Lots of things on computers, um, some analog stuff that we're still doing hand drawing. Um, so there'll be something for everybody in here. I'm Mr. Van, such a good guy. What a great class, a bunch of trophies we got here. And we're going into Miss Ald's room here. This is the wood and woodworking area, let's check it out. Take a look around the shop. You might see some of the projects that uh, that we've been working on. You might see some of the tools. Uh, in grade seven, we start off with the fundamentals and we uh, work our way up in grade eight to doing more complicated, more interesting projects. Well, great tour by Miss All as always. And then we're just gonna head back down. So I'm gonna obviously speed it up again so that we don't have to go back down this hallway. We're kind of split to a whole bunch of different like arteries or branches, so we're gonna head back to that centrum that you're gonna get really sick of hearing about. Oh, but on our way, we've got the art room. Look at that. Let's see what Miss Komet has going on. Hi, everybody. 
everybody, welcome to the art room. My name is Ms. Komet. I am the art teacher here for grades seven and eight students. When you come to Stanley Knowles and you enroll in the art program, each student will get a art package, which will consist of a sketchbook, watercolor, and pastels. In the art program, you will have an opportunity to do some hand building using clay and plaster, and you will also have an opportunity to paint and use pastels to create very vibrant, colorful works of art. Well, it sure sounds like there's a lot of great things going on in that room. Okay, now I'm definitely gonna advance this, but on the way, I'm obviously gonna see that there's the band room right away, so right over here to my left is the band room. Let's go see what Mr. O has going on, okay? Mr. O, and I'm the band teacher here at Stanley Knowles. You are going to have a chance to try band when you come in here. All the brass, the woodwinds, the percussion, it's all here waiting for you. And we can make some sounds together. Hope to see you soon. <laughs> Pretty sure Mr. O was playing a pretty popular song from last summer. I'm not sure though. Anyway, we're back at the Centrum again. So here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna notice the office is here. Here are the front doors that we walked in on, okay? And now we're gonna walk into the next section of the school, going down into what's called the portables. But to get there, we have to go past the library. So we're gonna cruise past the library. You can see here, huge room, lots of windows. And I'm gonna pan back over here and I'm passing a bunch of rooms. They're the elementary primary rooms. And we're gonna go into the depths of what's called the portables. And this is where a lot of the great sevens will be. You're gonna see moving to the land of red lockers. So the red lockers are here. This is the area that was built actually the first year the school was open. And all kinds of rooms are gonna be here. We're gonna check in with a couple people here as well. Yeah. Scan that way, and scan that way. Guys, I'm just gonna spin around again. I'm gonna go look for Mr. Clark, see if he can help us out with a bit of social studies, okay? So I'm gonna be looking around. That's not Mr. Clark there. I'm just gonna try and find him. I always get lost down in these. It's unbelievable. I get lost in these portables, and I just can't figure out. Hey, oh, Mr. Clark. You looking for me? I'm looking for you. I just got lost. Well, maybe you could have used some grade seven social studies skills. Some GPS skills, some coordinates, some mapping to figure out where the heck you are in this school. Come on in. Grade seven will fill your mind with all kind of knowledge about world geography. If you stick around with us for grade eight, maybe we'll teach you a little bit about ancient societies, the pyramids, Greek gods. Maybe all this can help you figure out the mystery as to why P7 can't stop listening to this song. <laughs> Okay, honestly, I can't get out of there quick enough. Uh, sorry about that, I don't know what that song is, but Mr. Clark's a great guy. We're gonna go over here, check in with Miss Greenberg, and we'll see what's going on. Salut les amis, je m'appelle Madame Greenberg, je suis un de vos enseignantes l'année prochaine, en septième et huitième année, à l'école Stanley Knowles. Um, sur notre équipe de français, vous allez rencontrer quatre profs Formidable, qui spécialise dans un sujet. C'est moi qui fais toutes les maths en septième et huitième. J'espère que vous avez hâte à venir nous voir, car nous sommes super excités de vous rencontrer, de vous enseigner l'année prochaine. Au revoir. I'm going to take us back to the centrum. I don't want to walk all the way with you. I'm getting tired. So I'm going to go back to the centrum. I'm going to link you up with the stairs. We're going to run up the stairs. We're not going to run. We're going to walk and I'm gonna show you the upstairs and we're gonna check in with some more teachers. So I made it back to the centrum, a little out of breath, but I can handle it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk, I made a mistake earlier, we're gonna walk up to the second floor. This is mainly where the grade eights are um, and we'll see what's going on here. I'm gonna flip you around and I'm gonna talk a bit. 
So up here is actually my office and the resource office. So we're actually gonna get there first and we're gonna see here an area where I work. So maybe you'll see what I got going on. How about that? Oh, hey, I'm Mr. Barm, the great 7 8 guidance counselor here at Stanley Knowles. Nice to see you. Here's actually one of the bikes I'm working on. I talked about bike projects before. In this area, try to have as many, you know, calm spaces as possible. Here's my office. Here's Miss Q's office. And we're always here to help you. That's our jobs. And we hope to see you around. If you need anything at all, come see us. And the guy who's running the tour right now, top notch. Oh, that Mr. Barr, he is, he is one great guy. Anyway, if you need anything, just go see him. He's awesome. Anyway, oh, here's Miss Maskey's room. Science department head. Let's go see what she is up to right now. Hi, I'm Mrs. Maskey, one of the science teachers at Stanley Knowles School. In grade seven, you'll get a chance to do everything that we see in the curriculum. You'll look at forces and structures, particle theory of matter. Uh, you will also learn about ecosystems. All of our students from grade four to grade eight participate in the Winnipeg School Division Science Fair, so you'll get a chance to do that too. And lastly, we always manage to find some time for a little bit of fun. So I want you guys to make a hypothesis for me, and that means a bit of a prediction. So if I take this balloon and I take a little bit of fire and I put them together, what do you think is going to happen? Well, of course, it's going to pop. But if I take that same balloon and I fill it with water, I'm going to get a volunteer here. I'm going to get Ms. Catello, one of our other science teachers. Just got to make sure I get those two balloons the same size. Okay? If I take that same balloon, there we go, and I do exactly the same thing, what do you guys think is going to happen? Man, she trusts me, doesn't she? Well, we see that nothing happens. Oh, there we go. We lost it. Looking forward to seeing you next year at Stanley Knowles. <laughs> I sure am glad that balloon did not pop on Miss Catello's head. That would have been wet. Anyway, oh, here's Mr. Tholner's room. Let's go see what he's up to. Language arts. Oh, hello, and welcome to the language arts department at Stanley Knowles. I'm just doing a little light reading before my next class. We here like to focus on fundamentals of reading and writing. We're very keen on getting you to do some reading and writing as well. We think you have a bright future here at Stanley Knowles, and we'd love to see you. We'll also help you get ready for exams at the end of the year, and help you prepare for those exams for high school, because we think we can see you having a really nice future here at Stanley Knowles. So come and join us next year. Enjoy the rest of your year. Stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you in September. Oh, Mr. Thulner and his light rating. Always so easy for him. Now just right over here, oh, Mr. Newman's room, math, math department. Let's go see what he's got going on. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Mr. Newman. I'm one of the math teachers here at Stanley Knowles. And I'm looking forward to seeing you when you start to come to this school too. When you come to Stanley Knowles, we're gonna subtract your fear of math. We're gonna add on a bunch of new skills. We're gonna multiply your understanding of how numbers work. And if you're lucky, you're gonna see a real divide between your BSK and your ASK. Your BSK is before Stanley Knowles. Your ASK is what you'll learn after Stanley Knowles. The numbers are good, so are you. I don't always understand Mr. Newman's math, but some people do. Anyway, all up here are more grade 8 rooms, our computer lab, currently not in use, but hopefully it is when you're back. You'll see again all the walkers we have here for you. We hope you have a great time here. I know I'm going to miss some of the places that we're introducing. Uh, if there's any questions or anything, please let us know. You see out here, I'm just going to glance out the window for a second. You're going to see some of the zones where you're actually coming from school from. So anyway, I'm on the second floor. We've checked out the gym, we've checked out the practical arts areas. 
We've checked out some of the academic rooms as well. We've met the French Immersion team. And I really, really, really hope this helps give you an idea of what the school is about. It's a great place and we're excited to have you because it's you that make it great. Anyway, Mr. Barr again, thanks for joining me. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for taking the tour of Stanley Knowles School. We are really looking forward to seeing you next year. Welcome from the admin team. Oh, hey, me again, Mr. Barr. That is the end, and I want to thank you for watching and taking the time. I know that was a long video, but we really, really wanted to work and give you as much info as we could. I do want to acknowledge some of the transitions are a little choppy because we actually filmed it over a whole bunch of different days. I spent time talking with teachers, making plans for their little bits, and I walked around one day and actually saw them on different days. So that's why it's a little choppy. Um, the other thing is, we really wanted to give you as much info as we could. But if we did miss something, or if you have a question about something, please ask your teachers. Your teachers have seen our presentations for years and they know what they're talking about. If they don't have an answer to one of your questions, please have them contact me. and We'll do everything we can to help you out, okay? We look forward to seeing you. We hope you have a great year and we'll talk to you soon. That's it.